Hi, so this is a follow-up video and I want to show how to create um, a Slack app using Bold and JavaScript which is able to deliver, deliver you um, a cat if you a cat picture if you use a command and um, my plan is to start with um, this guide here um, I have done another video about this guide uh, about yeah about my experience experiences here and um, you should go through and try this too because if you have if you went through this guide you more or less have um, a slack app with a home screen and no functionality okay so um, so now you want to have some functionality and basically the easiest functionality you could have in slack is having these commands and uh, so for example here in this example you have some uh, something uh, like um, slash help desk and then something is happening so you want to have these commands and um, let's go through how you do that um, so uh, the first thing, um, so that's more or less the old app and um, if you now want to have a command you can check the documentation how you do this um, bold and JavaScript thing so that's the documentation and it tells you to use something like this uh, to create a, co um, a command and an echo in this case uh, and uh, let's try so here's my app uh, it should be installed it should have um, the access tokens and everything set up and uh, this one is creating the app home screen but now we want to concentrate on a command so I uh, do this like like here um, let's save and uh, let's check if we can already do a command called echo so let's go here that's already cats but let's do this echo it's not working because and that's what they don't tell you in the documentation um, you need to have a setup for uh, in your app to allow these commands so let's create a command uh, I wanted to have one called echo and now the big question here is usually if you do um, if you do it for example with a, a lambda and um, an API gateway uh, create a slack app like that then you would pass here this uh, API gateway URL um, but in this case if you do it with bold and with this setup um, you want to use this URL so uh, where we here plus add this slack events here so every more or less uh, that's the only endpoint you have in this in this setup so um, you should always go to this endpoint of the the Slack app. There, so let's try this first. So this is set up. Um, let's try again. What will happen here? No, 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 no. Hi. Okay. Uh, this hasn't worked out. Let's see why. Mm. That's fine. Let I think yeah, probably here. Ah, of course. Yeah, this this makes sense. This has no proper exception handling, but um. I guess it was meant to work like this. So echo test. Ah, yeah, this works. Okay, so 
you see, pretty easy to get something running. But um, now what we want to do is, we don't want to have text here, but we want to have um, some uh, cat image. And um, so this just say thing here you, we used now, uh, this is the documentation, so it tells you, yeah, you can use say or respond. Uh, but we want to respond with an image and um, so there is um, there is also in this uh, initial guide here no where's the initial guide this is the initial guide a little hint that you can check the examples and if you do that that's pretty useful so there is examples and there is an example for um, for uh, another, uh, let's try this one. That's also a command and they did something different and let's see what happens if we use that. Okay, so let's go here, command, um, the active one is called echo and let's try what happens if we use that. Mm, I hope it will work. Yeah, okay, so something different came back here and you see here's a click me button um, which is which is like a special feature like an image we want later. Okay, so if we go on with this text, let's check out what we have in here. Uh, the first thing here maybe that's the notification um, coming in your and your system like flying in from top uh, from the top right corner usually um, and here you can say uh, that's that's just a text for this notification field here is your cat maybe okay let's go like this um, I think we don't need this one that seems to be the click button but we want an image but let's stop here because the interesting part here is blocks and um, Slack apps have a thing called uh, called blocks and block block it more or less if you you, should, you, should, you can Google block it and um, there you can create really cool um, feedbacks more or less of your app. Um, and let's try this. Um, there is this thing called Blockkit Builder where you can create this uh, code here, uh, this JSON code. So, blocks, blocks, you see, that's basically the same. And you can see here, then it's pretty easy. You, you go here, create an image, and yeah, that's, that's not so bad. Maybe we write here, here's. Here's your cat or something and then yeah, that's almost a good thing to test and um, Now you just need this one this part because you see here That's this part. Okay um, Let's press and glitch this magic button Check this how cool Okay, so um, Let's try, huh? Looks good to me. Um, uh, let's go back to Slack and check what's happening if I run this echo thing. There's a dog already. So we are pretty close. Um, and um, yeah, what you can also see here maybe I can yeah delete that that's not needed and also maybe the feedback here so okay cool so um, I want to refer to another guide showing something similar with the cats because yeah I, I was inspired 
I was inspired by this video series here, really cool. Uh, Fubar Serverless. It's it's if you check these free videos, that's a really cool guide how to do it with um, a lambda function and with uh, with uh, an API gateway on AWS. And um, yeah, check this out. And more or less, what I did now is I I did this. Uh, I tried this too, and it worked well. Um, so big recommendation. Um, but what I now did is I copied more or less the method how to get the cat um, to replace this dog image here. And um, yeah, so um, let's check. Um, I have here, I have it already here. So what I did is I copied this map, this thing calling the cat API, getting a cat, um, getting the URL, and responding with this cat uh, URL. So that's what you need. Um, interesting here is you need to install um, request promise, um, and uh, if you use request promise you also need to use requests so if you do that in in glitch you don't need to install it manually with npm install but uh, you just add it to uh, the package json here uh, so this these two packages get me more or less from the cat api the cat and um, yeah let's use this um, so instead of Instead of uh, the dog image here, I'm now I now want to use uh, the the cat image. So uh, cat image. Um, I already added here the other file getting uh, with the function to get the the cat. So I can go like get cat. Um, yeah, um, and await is helpful, uh, and this is so like this. Okay, so and now if I add this here, replace the dog with a cat, uh, this should work. Okay. Um, Let's try. Where is my Slack? Here. And let's go echo. Yeah, a cat. Let's try again. Echo is not so nice as a function name. Maybe I should create another one. Um, but you see, uh, that's it more or less. So uh, to sum it up, uh, you can go. You you can use. Um, you should check the commands here. You should check uh, the block kit builder to get the basic setup here, the basic JSON, and then you can work as usual with another function and get some other information, and uh, that's it. And uh, if you want to name it get a cat, then you can go here and set it up in in your app here so I already had a had one here so set it up here and maybe as a as a last hint um, you don't have to use always these uh, this path here if you go with a with a bold app you can also uh, kind of um, use something like this I, I haven't I haven't uh, implemented, but you can also use something like this to define the endpoints and be um, more uh, specific here, and define it better. So of course, like like this, um, so that you have different endpoints. Uh, but yeah, check it out. For now, you could start with going with Slack events for everything and uh, yeah cool so that's it
If you have questions, the comments below.